So today we are going to discuss the software development methodologies. In this, we'll see the waterfall, the prototype model, the incremental model, the iterative, the V model, the spiral, the scrum, clean room, RAM, DSDM, RUP, XP, Agile, Lean, Dual V model, TDD, FDT. So we are going to talk few of them about so waterfall. As you can see, water falls from higher level to lower level and you cannot go back. So we are talking about the classical waterfall model of software development life cycle. So every software has a life cycle from the start or the inception phase or the initial that means the requirement gathering or requirement phase when the requirement are posed in front of you to the, to the designing then to implement this design then, then to verify this implementation that is type of testings you could do and then once you deliver it you maintain it. This is the classical waterfall model. So in this classical waterfall model the design is sequential means one by one. You cannot have verification after maintenance. You can't implement after requirement or you can, can't have requirement after say implementation. These are well-defined sequential design process. The progress is seen as flowing steadily downwards like this, like a waterfall through software development life cycle. Or you also know software development life cycle as software processes. So these are various stages and various software processes are going on. The prototyping. What is a prototyping? You create a prototype, prototype of a software. That is, it is not a complete software but a basic or to show version of the software program being developed. A prototype typically simulates only a few aspects, maybe say 10% or 20% you can say, and maybe completely different from the final product. It may not be at all, uh, they may not look similar, the final product and the prototype. Then let me tell you more about prototype. Why prototyping is done? Because you and the user they both are confused, means the requirements are not clear to either of them how the system is going to be, what system can be. So the best idea is with the minimum require, requirement he has posed to you, you make a prototype. So once you have a working model and you go back to the uh, person from whom you have got the job and you show him the prototype, the prototype if he is agreeing, okay, okay, yes, I want this. Uh, can you add this one? No, no, I don't want this. I wanted this one. Now you know exactly what a uh, a user may want. Now this is redundant. Prototyping, prototype may be may be thrown away after some time. But but you will gain confidence. You will gain gain the knowledge, and then the final product will be very good. Some people say this is um, time consuming also. This is money consuming also. But not in the scenario where the requirements are not clear or the, you are making a new thing. It's better always to prototype. So prototyping can be you know once you go to the user. He may also, he may give you some suggestion and you can make one more and then again go back. So prototyping can be multiple also sometimes. Incremental build model. Please understand, incremental build model. These are the software phases of SDLC. You are doing analysis, design, code, test. Then you are providing the increment two. Then you are again going back to the analysis, design, code and test and then you are going to increment two. Then analysis, design, code and test, then increment three. So this is the incremental model. So the model is designed, implemented and tested incrementally. Design, implemented and tested incrementally. So what it means that a little more is added each time. So if the first first model or uh, first uh, product is X, you add X plus 2. This 2 may be a, just a mere, merely a number. I'm just saying that you added 2 functionality. Then the next is X plus 5. Likewise, the model is designed implemented and tested incrementally. So finished, it is finished when it satisfies all the requirements. So you have n requirement. So when this x plus y becomes n, that is you have satisfied all the requirement, this is done. It combines the elements of waterfall model with the iterative philosophy of prototyping. So incremental is actually, if I can write increment is actually waterfall plus your prototype. This may not be wrong. Why? Because you are applying the waterfall activities again and again. And then you are creating a prototype, a kind of prototype, because this is a prototype only, because you are going to add functionality to this increment. Iterative and incremental model, the iterative and incremental development 
is any combination of both iterative design and iterative method and incremental build model for development. So you can have both of these. You can start with the requirement analysis, design, implement, deploy. You can go out here or either do the testing evaluation. And then you can again go back. So when the work is complete, you deploy. This is iterative and incremental model. This is in incremental versus iterative. What do you do in increment? If this is what you have thought, first you make the phase, then the other part, and then the final part. This is incremental. What about iterative? First you make a minimum, bare minimum model. Iterative. Then you make more prol proliferated one. Then you finally go to the final version. So this is the incremental versus the iterative. Because in uh, iterative, the basic software will be made. Basic software or the basic product will always be there. But the, uh, say the proficiency, the complexity, the goodness or the added feature will not be there. In incremental, you you have in the first go only, you will have just some X part. You know, you say you, you have A, B and C. So A, B and C, A plus B plus C will be the complete software. This is incremental. Different understanding. See, you have made a basic one, you added this, then hand, then this one, and then the background. What are the efforts in iterative development? In iterative development, business value is delivered incrementally in time-boxed cross-discipline iterations. In iterative development, business value is delivered incrementally in time-boxed cross-discipline iteration, that means in the business modeling requirement, then analysis and design, implementation, testing, and then final deployment. This is how the time from inception to transition is being maintained. Then we come to the spiral model. First, let me tell you, spiral model is again a combination of the models we have just learned. Spiral model is for large projects, large projects where a lot of risk is there because if large projects is there, you are not able to uh, first of all identify, then mitigate the risk. There will be a failure, huge loss. So combining elements of design and prototyping stages okay we are combining the features of the prototyping in the waterfall model so if, if i write spiral as prototype plus your waterfall it may not be wrong spiral is prototyping with waterfall so the spiral model is intended for large expensive and complicated projects the advantages of top down and bottom up concept is there so what happens here is if you can you know observe here what we are doing in each quadrant? First, we have requirement. Once you complete, you have a prototype one, say in one, one spiral, then you have prototype two, then you can have a pro operational prototype. So these are prototype and each in each prototype, you are doing the requirement, you are doing the design, you are doing the uh, code integration and test. Okay, in each prototyping you are doing it. but in every quadrant, you are determining the objectives every time, identifying and resolving the risk, the development and test and planning the next iteration. This is the spiral model. The background, top down, bottom up. So the background of top down, bottom up, you start with the top, go to bottom. Bottom up, you start with bottom, go to top. That means top down is deductive reasoning, while bottom is inductive reasoning. In top down, you do analysis and decomposition, while in bottom up, you do synthesis. Top down by Descartes, bottom up by Bacon. Right? So, RAD, rapid application, uh, application development, rapid means fast application development. In this, minimal planning and fast prototyping is done. Minimum, minimum planning and fast prototyping. Prototyping. Develop instead of planning. You are developing, not just planning. So, just making initial plan and fast prototype. So the lack of pre-planning generally allows software to be written much faster and makes it easier to change the requirements. Change is also ac acceptable and uh, available. Previously in the traditional uh, models we have seen analysis, high level design, detailed design, construction, testing and implementation. While in RAD, we do the analysis and design, demonstrate. Then we refine, build. Then we demonstrate, refine, build. And then we test and implement. What about clean room? The clean room process embeds software development and testing within a statistical quality control framework. So you need to, very, whenever it comes to you, clean room, word, you need to understand we are talking about in software engineering, statistical quality control. 
So the clean room process embeds software development and testing within a statistical quality control. So mathematically based software developed processes are employed to create software that is correct by design and statistical usage testing processes are employed to provide inferences about the software reliability and this systematic process of assessing and controlling software quality during development permits certification of software fitness for use and delivery. So you need to understand the development and testing is done with the framework of statistical quality control. This is clean. Agile. Agile means flexible. We have agile manifesto. It says there's a certain principle, 12 principle. The basic idea is group of software development methods. Agile is a group of software method, not just one. It is a manifesto. It is a principle. This is, agile is a principle. It is a methodology. So it is based on iterative and incremental development. Most important phrases are self-organizing and cross-functional teams. Adaptive planning means always the planning is changing to the scenario. The evolutionary development and delivery a time-boxed iterative approach. Rapid and flexible response to change. So it is a conceptual framework. It came into effect after Agile Manifesto in 2001. So in Agile, Agile development, we perform certain activity and we try to accelerate the delivery. We don't bother much about the documentation or deliverables should not be documented, but the actual software. So agility is in strategy, release, iteration, daily, continuity. Okay. So the values are adaptability, transparency, simplicity and unity. And the visibility is all these. You know, testing again, velocity, fast, accelerated delivery. Scrum. Scrum is a type of agile. It follows the agile manifesto or uh, methodology, but there is a change. There is a uh, different uh, approach to it. Scrum is an iterative and incremental agile software development framework. It is flexible, holistic product development strategy and the development team work as an atomic unit, opposing to the sequential approach. So it starts with the product backlog. These are the products, so these are the backlog. Then one backlog is taken, then a sprint is made for the backlog. Now with, with the user intervention, they uh, accept the most important one of the priority based, the best one or the number one in the priority they take. Then within two to four weeks, two to four weeks, they try to give the product. And in 24 hours, they have daily scrum meeting. So potentially shippable product increment is done every time. What about the lean Kanban? This is a translation of lean manufacturing principles and practices. For example, you know, Toyota production system today part of agile community also. So this is not uh, so much uh, in action in software engineering or uh, not so much popular, but still in lean principles, we eliminate the waste, we amplify the learning, we define as latest, decide as late as possible, we deliver as fast as possible, we empower the team, we build integrity and see the home. So we eliminate the waste, eliminate variability, eliminate inflexibility, rigorous performance management and involve user development. So we try to eliminate certain things like waste, variability and inflexibility. Extreme programming. Extreme programming. So it the improved software quality and its responsiveness to changing customer requirements, a type of agile software development. It talks about frequency release, releases in short development cycle. It introduces the checkpoints where new customer requirements can be adopted. So first, it involves the pair programming two people can sit. Testing is done every time. A pair negotiation, a standard meeting, the acceptance sense, integration plan and the release plan. This is again extreme program. XP concepts. Let us take the most out of XP. So it involves the pair programming, the planning game, the test driven development. Always the tests are to be uh, made first before the de development and continuous integration. So all these like re pair programming, refactoring, simple design, continuous integration, collective ownership, coding standards, sustainable pace, small releases, customer test, whole team, planning game. DSDM. DSDM. This is again an agile project delivery framework. This DSDM fixes cost, quality and time at the outset and uses the Moscow prioritization of scope. Pareto principle it follows DSDM. So what is this uh, Moscow must, should, could, would. DSDM, Moscow. Must means it describes a requirement that must be satisfied in the final solution for the solution to be considered as a success. Should means it represents a high priority item that should be included in the solution if it is possible. This is often a critical requirement but one which can be satisfied in another way if strictly necessary. Could describe a requirement which is considered desirable but not necessary. This could be included if time and resource permit. Would 
will present a requirement that stakeholder have agreed will not be implemented in a given release that may be considered for the future. So must, should, could, would. Must go. Must, should, could, would. DSDM fixes cost, quality and time at the outset. With prioritization of scope and it follows the Pareto principle, it is again a agile project. Then TDD, test driven development. TDD relies on reputation of very short development cycle for the development rights, automated test case that defined as desired improvement on new function, then produces a minimum amount of code to pass at that test, and finally refactors the new code to accept acceptable standards. So this TDD, test driven development, test first programming concept of vaccine programming in the beginning, and today's standard one methodology. So feature driven uh, development, FDD, this is again an agile method, iterative and incremental development process, an agile method. This is driven from client value functionality feature perspective. So mostly part of the methodology. So what we do here is we first initial modeling is done. We develop the overall model. We build a feature list. Then we plan by feature. That means a list of feature grouped into set and sub subject areas. And the plan by feature means a development plan class owners, feature set owners. And this model is storming. That means we design by feature, build by feature. Design by feature is a design package, so we may add more content to the object model and build by feature means we completed client value function, feature terminal. Then the RUP, rational unified process. This is again an iterative process, development process, iterative software development process, which is a framework created by a rational software corporation IBM. This is not a concrete prescriptive process, but an adaptable framework intended to be tailored by the development organization. So a development environment or the organization can tailor it. Expected to select elements of the process that are appropriate. Yes. These are expect we expect to select elements of the process that are appropriate. So we start with the inception. These are the various phases. You can learn it by IECT, inception, elaboration, construction, and transition. Inception, elaboration, concept, construction, and transition. And the disciplines, business modeling, requirement, analysis, design, implementation, test deployment, where it has to be done, configuration, change management, project environment development. So this is initial, initially at the inception. Then elaborate, again elaborate. Construct, 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 and transit, transit. These are the iterations. So this is an iterative process, RUP, with phrases I C E T I E C T, inception, elaboration, construction, transition. Then the V model. This is a V model because it looks like V, V shape. So the V model is an extension of the waterfall model only. It shows the relationship between the development phases and the test phases. So it, we have same phases as the waterfall model, but in each model, what type of testing has been done is shown by V model. So time and project completeness versus the level of abstraction. See, we have validation, verification, verification, verification. So once we are at detailed design, we do unit testing, device testing, highlight design, subsystem testing, system specification, system testing with respect to system. System testing is done with respect to system specification. And acceptance testing is done with the concept of operation or the requirements. Dual V testing, V and V, see one is V and the other is V, horizontal and vertical. So this is this describes the modes model of complex development. This is for hardware platform and application software. And development of systems architects is the big V. The components, entities, developments are the small V's. So these are small V's. This, this larger V, smaller V, smaller V. This component, the, the component entities and developments are small V's, while the bigger V is the architecture, system architecture. It shows interaction and consequence of developing a complex system and a system of systems. So system of systems. You should not forget the number one programmer is used for legitimately is lagging of my code is compiling. Compiling? Carry on. No. You should not forget that. But waterfall we should really look for because you know underlying concept is waterfall. Jump to next phase only if the prior one is completed. Pros of waterfall is detailed early analysis cause huge advantages at later phases. If bug is found, it must be cheaper to find that bugs found in a later phase. Requirements should be set before design start. Points to importance of documentation, disciplined and well-structured approach, effective for stable uh, software projects and easy to plan for project management point of view. So the cons are changes are expensive, clients do not explicitly know what she or he wants, clients does not explicitly know what is possible to have, need to finish every full phase fully, long projects keep difficult to keep the plan, designer may not know in advance how complex a feature implementation is, measure twice, cut once. So this was the software development methodologies for you. Thank you so much. Take care.